Don't you wish you'd taken up the flute? People ask me every day. They really can't conceive it. They really don't believe it. That anyone would choose the bass to play. Anyone would choose the bass to play. Don't you wish you played the clarinet? People ask me with a laugh. I tell them yes, I actually tried to play the clarinet till I accidentally broke the thing in half. Accidentally broke the thing in half. When I was six, I took up the piano. But us six-year-olds find so much to distract us. I really, really hated reading music. And I always cried when it was time to practice. So I took up the guitar. Oh, it was much more fun by far. And I began to solve the riddle. But my brother was a genius. And he mastered the guitar. And very soon I was back on second fiddle. At age 13, I finally found the bass, and I knew I had potential. At age 13, I simply loved the bass. Every note it played seemed so essential. You play a note, it rings out deep and true. Every note you play is up to you. You stand there all alone. Completely on your own. Don't you wish you played the violin? You should put that big thing on a diet. Let me see you fit that underneath your chin. Oh, the bass jokes. There's such a riot. Don't you wish you'd taken up the flute? A question I have heard since God knows when. But I've been lugging basses round since I was a boy. And I do it all again. Yes, I do it all again. I do it all again. Yes, I do it all again. Yes, I do it all again. Gotta turn your music on. through what's going on. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. I've been working so hard on uh, nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have been working hard on something, as a matter of fact. I have been working on uh, going to the doctors and getting having eye drops put into my eyes. And I now I'm wondering why I can barely see the screen. <laughs> Speaking of Hi, Jay. The trombone is out with Steve Wilson, Dennis Joe. But no, somebody sent me a text, and I can't. I can't even read it. Too bad. Hi, Chris. Hi, everybody. Sunny and Alan. Trove. I hope your shirt runs off batteries. (laughs) 
And it sort of looks plugged in, doesn't it? Uh, this is my vulgar, vulgar boatman. Remember this, the vulgar boatman shirt. Um, I am um, sorry, I, I can barely, I can barely see tonight. I had, I went to the, ding, let's see who's there. Let's see if I can read that. Oh, great. Okay. Monkeypox vaccinations will be opening up. Good. That's what I need. I mean, I've had a medical week this week. I went to my cardiologist yesterday. Did I discuss that yesterday? I think I did. Was I? Did I even get on yesterday? I think I did. And got the no. That that was it was Tuesday. I got all the results today. Uh, oh boy, it's all kinds of tests. Uh, very good, very good. My heart's still beating. Um, my cholesterol's down. This is up. Something's good. Something's excellent. Something's nothing's wrong. Nothing's bad. That's good. I, I'm not any younger, but I'm fine. Oh wait a minute. Let me hear. I forgot to do this. Da 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 da. da. Oh, that's such fun. I love that. And. Uh, just to show you that. Uh, plot that out. And here, while I'm talking, you know what? I'll just take, how about a little scene of Riverside Park in the winter with the cars coming down? A bleary thing. Let's go back to me. Anyway. Um, That's always fun. The same group. I hope your shirt runs on batteries and isn't plugged in. Right. It isn't. This is my vulgar boat man. Uh, I did work today. You know, I gave Trof some money yesterday and he still got it. Yeah, you bet. I'm taking it to the bank. If I find out what a bank is. Oh, good. Yeah, you gave me a, you gave me a, I think I should, yeah, 20 bucks. That's good. Okay. All right. I'm going to look for a bank. Um, and I did work on, uh, I thought today about a bunch of things. I thought about a lot of things today. That's a good song. You know, I thought a lot about it. I thought about a lot of things today, and I came to this conclusion. But after I think about a lot of things, I usually end up in confusion. He deserves every penny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Al. Thanks, Al. You're my you're my pal, Al. Pal, Al. I think we went to that last night. Hmm. I think he did. Um, what's going on this weekend? I'm not working anywhere this weekend. So I'm going to practice, play the bass. Sunday night, my daughter is appearing up at in Piermont. There's a jazz club in Piermont, which is right on the Hudson River. I think at exit one. Everybody knows where Pier 1. <laughs> Everybody knows where Piermont is, right? We all know where Piermont is. Um, and there's a club called uh, Ziggy's. No, I don't know what the hell the name is. What's the club up in Piermont? Somebody must know. One of you jazzers must know what the name of that club is in Piermont. Come on now. Um, can't think of it. But anyway, Carolyn's going to be there with the with Nat Reeves. Nat Reeves is that his name? I don't even know. But I'm going to go to it Sunday night after we ship Vaughn off to camp. Vaughn loves his camping, so he's going to go to it and be his Rockland County. No, Rockland County is right, but there's a club there in Piermont, right on the water, and it's called Bob's. No, it's not. P 
Piermont. Just a second. Jazz Piermont. I'll just put jazz. No, I, I won't, that won't work. That won't work. That's the wrong thing. Let's open a new um, a new thing here. And we'll put in Jazz Piermont. Jazz P I R E M O N T N J. And what comes up? The Turning Point Cafe. The Turning Point Cafe. And what's who's there this weekend? Let's see. Oh, God. Look at all those guys I know. Oh, my gracious. I'm sorry. I wish I, I could actually, I could actually get this on the scene, on the screen here. Let me, let me open a new scene. Let me open a new scene. Um, duplicate this. Okay, we'll go to it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the video capture. I'm going to get rid of this image. Yes, get rid of it. I will put me back in there. I'm going to shift it over here. You won't see the difference because it's the same one. And then I'm going to go up here and say, uh, uh, what do they want? Color, color source browser. Browser. All right, browser, let's go. And so I'm going to uh, go to the browser. Let's see if I can just do this. Let's just put this in there and see what happens. Excuse me for a second. Let's just find out what this is. Browser, here we come. Browser. And then we put it, I'll put it in the address. Boom. And let's see what happens. You've just added a browser source. Brown let you display it on the internet. Oh. Yes, you've just added another browser source. I know that. Okay. So, let's see. It's not doing anything. It's not. I know I did it. But it's not reacting. It just says I added a browser. Okay. But I can't make it work. All right, fine. Fine. I don't even know how to do it. Let's get rid of it. Jit boom. Um, but it's Piermont, and it's the Turning Point Cafe. And there's a beautiful little website here that I can't seem to show you. Maybe maybe to show the screen. Uh, audio input browser color source display capture. Display capture. Let's see what this is that is. Uh, built-in display. That's not so good. That's not so good. Nah. That doesn't look so good. All right, forget it. But uh, the Jazz at the Turning Point Cafe, Piermont, New York. Uh, lots of... John Richmond is the guy's name. Okay. All right, John Richmond Jazz. So I'll be up there Monday, Sunday night, this Sunday night for uh, Carolyn and Nat Reeves, somebody Reeves, Scott Reeves, Scott Reeves, not Nat Reeves, Scott Reeves band. So we'll be up there. Okay, good. Now, uh, tomorrow night I've got to go out to dinner because it's Milo's birthday. So I won't be here, but Saturday night I will be here. And Sunday night, well, because I'll be up at uh, the Pyramid Cafe listening to the Scott Reeves Band. Um, and that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to advertise it, too. Um, but I want you to hear, at least I, I worked on something.
I worked on this lyric a little bit, but I have no melody for it. So we'll just have to make up a very simple melody. Make up a very simple melody and get to know how the song goes. This is a good way to do it. the moon somebody asked me so naturally I grabbed my telephone then a sense of weariness came over me and I wanted to leave my phone alone leave my phone alone days we can't delay the pursuit these but these days but these days we have a quest for knowledge we have to have know the answer right we have to have the answer now take that phone and start the search in a subway or a church find out who and what and where and when and how These days we crave, is, these days we crave instant gratification. You need to know right now, we, we need to know right now, we cannot wait. That puts a lot of strain, stress and strain on my aching psyche. Because I need time to procrastinate. My psyche wander freely through the. Mm, I need to let my psyche wander freely throughout the universe. And who do it? Oh, know what I do? I need to, oh, I see. I put the wrong there. I need my I need to let my psyche wander. I need to free up my brain I don't want the answer now I don't need the answer now And this is going to be my new refrain I do not want the answer now I do not need the answer now I just want to free up my brain see that's the beginning of a nice mediocre song but I like it 
I, something I like about it, and I'm going to keep working at it. I'm going to keep working on that song because I found a hook at the end. I need to let my psyche wander. I need to free up my brain. I don't want the answers now. I don't need the answers now. This will be my new refrain. I don't want the answers now. I don't need the answers now. I'm going to free up my brain. Well, you know, sometimes you have to write a song for yourself. For yourself. And the hell with whether it's good for anybody else. I think this is what it's going to be. And I make a much better melody to it. I can, I mean, I'm just, this is just like what they call a, a dummy melody. Sometimes people write melodies and write dummy. A guy will send you a melody. Ray Brown sent me a song, which I never, I, and then he died before he, he approved it. But I'm sure if I just put it out, and I wrote seven verses to it, seven full lyrics to it, and I have them. And uh, and he never the song doesn't end either. So, so he didn't end the song. He quickly just. I mean, it doesn't have a good ending on it. So. Um, I'll worry about that. This one here. If I sit and really take care of it, it it's it's be fun to work at it to make a very, very interesting. Melody. I mean, who knows where it is going to go? How's how high's the moon, somebody ask me? So naturally, I quickly grabbed my phone. Then a sense of weariness came over me. I, I wanted to leave my phone alone. I wanted to leave that phone alone. I needed to leave that phone. Alone. I'll work on this. I'm going to work on this. You know, my eyes are not good in a damn, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the drops he put in. You need print this big. So I'll take whatever song that is and sing it. And it's, it's a good song, and I think I should learn. It's got a great verse that I don't know. Oh, there's another song with a great verse that I've got. I was trying to tell somebody. Uh, Limehouse Blues. Do 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 Oh, how's the verse to that song go? I can't remember how the verse, and that's the, the sweetest part of the song because it uh, it's a great verse. And then when you go, it's in another key entirely. So when it gets when it, when it roars into uh, no. Uh, I, mel I just looked at Melancholy Baby and threw my mind up with the song. Du -du 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 I, for I just just like that forgot the name of the song. Limehouse Blues. Limehouse Blues. Um, but de -de -de. it's a great verse. And the guys all play it. But this is Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and don't be blue. All your fears are foolish fans. All, all, all your fears 
are full all your fears are foolish fancies baby you know dear that i'm in love with you every every car must have every car must have a silver line wait until the sun shines through so smile my honey dear smile my honey dear smile my honey dear while I kiss away each tear or else I will be now there's a good song. And we always make jokes because well, where, where's where's Melancholy Baby? Is it played? Where do they play it? <laughs> like a drunken song. <clears throat> By Amazon. Oh. Come to me, my melancholy baby. Sunshine through. Wait until the sun. Wait until the sun. Wait until the sun shines through. Smile, my honey dear, while I kiss away each tear. Or else I will be melancholy. Else I will. to make a really very hip arrangement. The sun shines through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
fears are, all your fears are, all your fears are foolish, fancy, baby, me, you know, you know, you know, dear, that, you know, dear, you know, dear, that, you know, dear, that I'm, you, you know, dear, you know, dear, that I'm in, you know, dear, that I'm in love with you. You know, dear, that I'm in, you know, dear, that I'm in love with you. Every cloud must have, every, 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 every cloud. Yes, I will be melancholy, or else I will be melancholy. Yeah. Yes, I will be melancholy. Do 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 Rosalie, my darling, Rosalie, my pet, boo daddy, da do 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 No sense practicing without the real words. Oh God. No. Such an old fashioned guy. Rosalie. R O S A L I E. Come to me, Rosalie. Tell me all about it, Rosalie. Rosalie, pages. Here we go. Rosalie, my dawn. Rosalie, my dream. Since the night when stars danced above, I'm oh, oh, so much in love. Uh, print it. Come on now, print it. Spit it out. Come on, baby. Don't you love it when your printer actually works? Here it is, just like that. Absolute magic. Oh boy. Melancholy Baby and Rosalie. 
Now there's a bunch of songs. That... Hmm. Vaughn just got back from the gym. Okay, good for him. Let me just ask him one little question. Vaughn's outside. Just got back to the gym. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. They all understand when I walk away that I have to say hello to my grandson. Who is now up to here and now goes to the gym on 57th Street by himself when, about four days a week. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, I, I have to do my second song. Excuse me. Oh, 
Oh, Rosalie, have mercy. Rosalie, don't decline. Won't you make, 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 make my life? Rosalie, don't decline. Won't you make my life thrilling? And tell, tell me, won't you make? Ah, Sick last day. Rosalie. But uh, two two songs that really would fit beautifully into an old fashioned, uh, the very old fashioned medley. Mine, oh mine! I like those songs. Too bad for me. Huh? What happened to my? Screen. What did I do to my screen? What have I done to my screen? Something happened to my screen. Why is it so big now? Well, to tell you what, it's already 7.40 on the clock on the wall. There's no clock on the wall here. It's right up here in the corner of my computer. I haven't had a clock on the wall again in an aged period. Let's take another look at uh, Down Riverside Drive. Oh, in the winter. It's, oh, I got to go down and get some pretty pictures. I should get some pictures of that right now. Let's go back and see what, what the conversation's been about because everybody has been talking and having a good time while I've been busy working here. Do da do dee da. I gotta get back to the show. Here it is. You're in the money trail for Rockland County. Piermont is on the 9W, right on the New York, New Jersey border. Right. Sunny now. Happy birthday, Milo. Hello, gang. Hi, Stephen. Sunny now. Hello, Stephen. Stephen, good. Missed yesterday's show as we went out to a, a mall in Nassau County. Yes, yeah, Stephen. Mart, Mary Jane Harper. Message retracted. Hello, Chris, Stephen, everybody. Very, very select audience this evening, I tell you. People are holding messages. Now, why would that be? I have to go into the, I'll have to go into the um, app and tell them not to withhold messages because. Thank you, Mary Jane. You're very kind. You're way too kind to me. You keep me going when common sense would tell me to stop this. I got my vulgar boatman shirt on tonight. I'm going to go out and have dinner right now. And uh, I think I'll just go back and play, play a, few, a song or two more of that we started off with of my album. Maybe I can get away with it. Maybe when they look at it and they say, oh, if he's playing his own record, let him get away with it. We'll try this one. We'll take it, we'll take it back to the top and we'll play it. I'm sitting in an airplane at LaGuardia. The captain says there will be a delay. A 
oh no, this isn't good, you see. I've got to be in Washington, D.C. tonight to play for Mel Torme. Out the window of the airplane, lightning's crashing, winds are thrashing, skies are dark and rain is whipping by. Still somehow, three hours from now, I've got to be in Washington, D.C. This plane has got to fly. I did not tell a soul last night about my little New York flight. I knew that I couldn't make it back in time. But now it looks like Mel Torme may play tonight without the bass. And let me tell you, that would be a crime. That would be a crime. I really hate to say it, but I think my luck has finally run out. My warranty has just expired. Cause if I am not in Blues Alley tonight at 8 o'clock and playing bass for Mel Torme, I will be fired. You see, I really like this job. We always have a lot of fun and everybody gets along real well. We play a lot of real nice music. I get lots of solos and now I'm going to blow it all to hell. It's gonna be curtains with Torme. I'm very sad to have to say I will be history. I will be gone. So as the plane just sits right here, I'll figure out a new career. But adios, smell, I'll be moving on. I'll be moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Then around 6.35, the engines roar. They come alive. Seconds later, we are in the air. I begin to think that there is hope that I may somehow make this gig tonight. Oh, do I even dare? But God, the weather's terrible. We're flying right through thunderstorms, yet the captain just keeps pressing on. Now the airplane's diving, dumping, jiving, jumping, bouncing, bumping. I think I can see the White House lawn. It defies all understanding how we could be really landing, but at 7.30 we touch down. Congratulations, Captain. No, I never had the slightest doubt. Now, pardon me, I gotta get downtown. I get a taxi right away with absolutely no delay. Tell the taxi driver of my plight. Before we even settle down, he mashes that old pedal down. We fly to town as we make every light. Every light. O'clock we reach Blues Alley, I walk in quite casually, as if I weren't under such duress. I saunter through the restaurant, trying to look nonchalant, but inside I am a total mess. I see the show has not begun, they're waiting for me, oh isn't this fun? I don't think I'll survive. So fully prepared to meet my doom, I walk into the dressing room to find I'm the first one to arrive. With all my worry and my fear, it turns out I'm the first one here. Sometimes life can be sublime. In spite of all the stress and strain I went through on that stinking plane, I'm the only one who's here on time. The only one on time. The others frantically arrive, apologizing all the way. They're rushing around, they're in a panic like musicians on the Titanic. I tell them, fellas, fellas, it's okay. Everyone, including Mel, is rushing around, upset as hell, while me, I'm as calm as I could be. Here I almost blew this gig, I almost screwed up really big, and now I'm Mr. Punctuality. That's me. I was absolutely certain I would never make this curtain. This gig would be the death of me. I could feel the noose around my neck. I was a total nervous wreck. But now, Mr. Punctuality, 
It's 5 p.m. I'm sitting in an airplane at LaGuardia. The captain says there will be a delay. Oh no, this isn't good, you see. I've got to be in Washington, D.C. tonight to play for Mel Torme. I'm on time and everything's okay. And I'm gonna play for Mel. Torme. Baby, I got the blues Since I got the news You've heard from the muse Now you're in Santa Cruz Without me Feeling so bad Feeling so sad And I wish I was dead When I hear what you said About me Baby I feel like dying I feel like crying Oh no, oh no Tell me it is not so Tell me this empty bed Is all in my head Tell me this empty bed is all in my head And I'm only dreaming
dying Baby I feel like crying not so Tell me this empty bed is all in my head and I'm only dreaming Tell me this empty bed is all in my head and I'm only In the 1620s back in Holland Every Dutchman sang a song They had all the money, all the milk And all the honey those Dutch Could do no wrong That is until they fell in love with tulips Especially the more exotic breeds From Amsterdam to Yonkers The Dutch went totally bonkers Lusting for those tulip bulbs and seeds So it was not surprising That tulip prices started rising Tulips were in such demand Soon the little tulip bulb was worth its weight in gold Things were getting out of hand The average Dutchman sensed a golden opportunity A situation he could not ignore You buy a tulip on a Monday morning Next day sell it for much more very quickly, tulip speculation markets did appear where people bought and sold with great abandon. People would do anything to raise a little cash, anything to get a hand in. Soon the Dutch economy was all tied up in tulips as prices soared into the sky. People mortgaged, bought and sold, they begged, they borrowed, lied, cajoled, they would do anything to buy. But then one dreary winter morning, the purser rang the tulip market bell. Suddenly nobody wanted tulips anymore Just like that, the market went to hell Collapse succumbed, disappeared, disintegrated, vanished It was adios, avida, saying goodbye Now nobody wanted to buy tulips anymore And no one really knew the reason why The present owners of the tulips sat there quite dumbfounded. Gee, what do I do now? I owe a lot of money for this box of dirty tulip bulbs and the only thing I own is half a cow. The present owners owed the previous owners who owed the previous owners. Liens and loans and IOUs prevailed. Now nobody had the cash to pay back what he owed because the tulip market had completely failed. Completely fail. So everybody started suing everybody else. What else could they do? 
Everybody started dragging everybody else to court. Those who escaped the wrath were few. Oh, so few. After 20 years of legal chaos, the courts in Holland finally decided the tulip debts were null and void and nothing was collectible and that was the solution they provided. Folks, it's over, finished, done, time to go back to square one, that's the deal, the song has now been sung. I don't care who owes you what, just go back to your little hut, maybe clean some fish or scrape some dung. The Dutch were disappointed. Things had turned out much worse than they feared. While everybody chased around looking for little tulip bulbs, the Dutch economy totally disappeared. Disappeared. Is there a moral to our story? A happy ending to our tale of woe? Have maybe we learned a little lesson I think the answer would be no. Investment bubbles come and go. Still getting rich intoxicates us so. I'm afraid the answer would be no. The answer is no. Question me, you take me to task. What is schadenfreude, you ask? And why do people find it so appealing? Well, schadenfreude is a dark little void where you feel overjoyed at someone else's misfortune. It's not a generous feeling. Schadenfreude happens deep inside. It's a feeling we try to hide this finding pleasure in another's pain. But I must admit to having enjoyed a recent moment of schadenfreude, which now I will try to explain. Explain. You see, the traffic jam was terrible. Some found it unbearable. Patience was wearing very thin. The lady in the car behind me honked and honked just to remind me don't let anybody else cut in. She honked and honked, her venom flowing, honked and honked, impatience growing. She was not to be dismissed. Nonetheless, I did not react. I almost found it funny, in fact, as I watched her pound the dashboard with her fist. With her fist. So here we are stuck on Ninth Avenue while I'm attempting to have a new attitude about things at moments like these. While she sits behind me for two hours fuming, I sit here pondering spring flowers blooming, pistol stamens, birds, and bees. She was a nuisance and she was a pain And she was making it so very plain That I must stop being so gentle and loving She said, you've got to stop cars from cutting in You got to stop all this butting in You got to get out there, start pushing and shoving Then I must admit she did astound me As she drove her car around me Slip right by, then cut in 
And for an extra little zinger Did she flash her middle finger That is when the real fun did begin Did begin Insides churning and road rage burning She pulled right behind a big truck turning Resulting in a moment so bizarre Cause as it turned the truck's rear fender Did slowly and carefully surgically render Complete destruction to the front end of her car The mashing and bashing did not happen quickly No, 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 it was slowly and sickly Oh, the gnashing of teeth and the bending of steel and it would be a total lie if I should even try to deny the schadenfreude I started to feel. Oh, schadenfreude, what can I say? What can we do when we feel this way? We all know it's not polite to gloat. But sometimes when under attack, the fates will toss the enemy right back down the castle wall into the moat. Oh, schadenfreude, it is not nice for such a feeling we pay a price. Is it nice to take pleasure in another man's pain? I only hope this instantaneous payback doesn't prevent her from finding her way back to a more harmonious refrain. When I finally managed to slowly pass by her, I did not taunt her nor evil iron nor so much as glance at her automobile now destroyed. I passed by the spot where it all had occurred With nary a glance, no discouraging word But oh my, schadenfreude Oh my, schadenfreude Oh my, schadenfreude I think I'm going to change my occupation Think I'm going to find me something new Change my occupation, find another situation That's what I'm going to do I'm getting sick and tired of hanging out in jazz joints Smoky little dives on Bleecker Street Where the crowd is tough and noisy Full of rowdies from New Jersey And drunken sailors AWOL from the fleet I'm gonna take my bases, sell them, take everybody, tell them I've had it, I am finished, I am through. The scene is too chaotic, I'm getting too neurotic. The redeeming social values are too few. I think I'm going to change my occupation. Think I've paid sufficient dues. Don't know if I can take it, don't know if I can make it. Through another chorus of the blues. I think I'm gonna find me something new
you work into the AM amidst the constant mayhem in a little dive filled up with smoke. You get home as a rule, just as the kids depart for school. You wander through life burnt out, beat and broke. I think I'm going to change my occupation. I think I've paid sufficient dues. You want the folks to love you, they just push and shove you. You'd like them to adore you, but mostly they just ignore you. Don't know if I can take it, don't know if I can make it. Through another chorus of the blues. I'm gonna find me something new That's exactly what I'm going to do Find me something new Find me something Find me something new Find me something Something, something Just outrageous Life in 1383 It's as bad as life could be In the Middle Ages Life in the Middle Ages Lousy work, rotten wages We till the soil all day There's never time to play in the Middle Ages In my little village We try hard not to think In my little village All we do is work and drink Till the soil past the wine Wine, wine, get drunk Everything's just fine Everything's just fine be courageous now we're off to the crusades pillage villages and maids in the middle ages the king rides into battle and I must hold his sword do not worry I will be right here with you my lord he wears all the armor I'm the one who will be gored ah but I won't be bored no, 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 I won't be bored In the Middle Ages Life in the Middle Ages The plague is so contagious Where did I get this nasty cough? <coughs> Why is my right foot falling off in the Middle Ages? Ah, the Middle Ages, such a peculiar fate. It's amazing anyone lives long enough to mate till the soil past the wine, wine, wine. Get drunk, everything's just fine. Everything's just fine. Just
Get me. The signs are very clear. They're coming to get me. The time is very near. Two weeks ago, I saw them leaving Venus. And there's only 50. 
fifty million miles between us. The signs are very clear. They'll soon be here, and they're coming to get me. They're coming to get me. There's no need for alarm. 